The promised land will not wait for us We leave our home with faith and trust We'll find the place of our destiny And spread our family seed We'll find the place of our destiny And spread our family seed Hey Grandpa, what would your name be? Oh, well let me tell you Six on Dick Van Harry Tate and Dr. Butt Nugget <laughs> Ain't that good one? Grandpa? <laughs> What well, the hell is that supposed to mean? <laughs> what? Their names? Harry Tit? Grandpa, you're setting a bad example for our pioneers here. You're gonna make them think it's a good idea to name their wagon party stupid things. <laughs> well, they should. It'd be real funny. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, Jack Power. Well, honey, I don't know if you know this about me, but I wrote the show. <laughs> Just how this one goes. Okay, well, we're not gonna get very far as a bunch of fucking farmers. <laughs> All right. Get her, Minnie. What was that? What was that? Titty, Mitty. How do you feel about that, Grandma? I like that name. Yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah. You made him happy. You could go next door and see something professional. We wouldn't blame you a bit if you're sitting through this horror shit. But you know what, kids? Sometimes things just happen. And sometimes God is a vicious two-faced prick. <laughs> Actually, sir, we're doing this trip on a budget. We're poor. Our farm burned down. God did it to us. Damn him to hell. <laughs> We're farmers, you see, which means we don't need things like food. We can live off the land. All we're looking for is the bare essentials. Boxes and boxes of bullets. But what if this trip kills one of us? Like you, or Dad, or Grandpa? Oh, well, if Grandpa dies, that's just God's will. Sorry, Grandpa. Oh, that's okay. When you gotta go, you gotta go. You're talking about the shitter, right? <sighs> <sighs> It's so hot up there. <coughs> friends don't let friends ford the river. <sighs> Take a ferry. For your ISD dependent. Time to hit the road. Well, you gotta be careful. Good looking girl like yourself. A lot of disreputable characters out there. <laughs> Like that mysterious outlaw, the panda king. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds bad. Yeah. If I saw him, I'd scream. <laughs> <laughs> yup. Uh, I mean, no one really knows who he is, but he's out there stealing kisses <laughs> and all sorts of other shit. <laughs> His only companion is the infamous Cletus Jones. Yeah. That's my name. <laughs> McDoom, don't you shush me. Not after I got you all your supplies. Ether, firearms, bandit shut, mask. Shut, shut your mouth, the, Cletus. Shut, all shut of your mouth. Oh, okay. oh, hello, ma'am. You ain't got nothing to worry about. I was just making sexual advances on your daughter is all. <laughs> they was perfectly consensual, too. She gives me butterflies down in my penis area. You know what I mean? <laughs> and my name's Cletus Jones. I've killed three people. You better keep one eye open, cause you just made an enemy of the Panda King. Come on, Cletus, saddle up. Yeah. What's the devil carry? A pitchfork, I know. And who else carries pitchforks? Farmers. I rest my case. <laughs> Farmers are the devil. All right, everybody, put your hand in. Even you, you horny ox, get your hand in here. But why does he have a hand? All the better to huddle with, honey. All right, on three. What's this trip all about? One, two, three. Did he do it? Monster!
I can't control when the wagon breaks. They're just tiny little acts of God. Oh, my good friend God is at it again, is he? <laughs> well, if God keeps goofing up like this, I'm gonna murder God, and I'm gonna chop him up into tiny little pieces, and I'm gonna feed him to my starving children. I don't think we should be feeding that ox any of that grass, because it's been making me real sick when I eat it. Oops. You ate all of our grass reserve? I don't know. Oh, uh, you just said that you did. Why would you do that? I, I don't know. You better stop saying you don't know. Mom, I'm serious. Don't look too deep here for a reason why I do anything, because I don't know. I mean, asking me, a seven-year-old child, why I ate all that grass, it's like asking me why I throw the supplies off the back of the wagon when I'm bored. <laughs> Is it to watch how stuff bounces? I mean, I can't say for sure because I don't know, but you know, I'm a kid. I basically know nothing. I'm experiencing a lot of things for the first time and I have to figure them out through trial and error and putting them in my mouth. <laughs> Good Lord, what else have you eaten? I've literally eaten everything that I've come across. Uh, when I interact with a new object, I'm gonna look at it for a little bit. I'm gonna reach out, poke it, see if it moves around. I'll pick it up, wiggle it back and forth, and then that thing goes all the way in my mouth. <laughs> and if it doesn't try to get out of my mouth, it's going down the hatch. If you ask me, it's a pretty good way to do things. The other day, I put a scorpion in my mouth, that guy jumped right out. I mean, he knew the rules, he played the game. I respect him for that. Maybe that grass should have done the same. I'm coming. I just learned to walk and my legs are still shaky. I'm brand new. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, what am I doing? <laughs> <Pa -pa! laughs> oh, no. I better get out of here. If only I could get my shaky legs to run for the first time. <gasps> Oops. I slipped. Now, listen, brother. You don't want to do this. I just lost my mom and dad for dick. Deep down, I know there's a heart inside that head. Whoa! <laughs> and if you're really that goddamn hunky, just eat my parents white in front of me. Oh. And I'll raise my buffalo friends to seek revenge. Everybody. Sometimes it pays me, and it will sometimes don't. Sometimes it pays me, and it will sometimes don't. But when you wake up with mud on your dick, <laughs> and you don't even know where it came from. <gasps> oh, God. <laughs> Just do it, mother. <laughs> well, good shooting there, crab pole. Looks like you got about 2,000 pounds here. And between the three of us, we can carry back about 20. <laughs> sometimes it pays to be an animal, sometimes. Don't. That's my son, crab pole, the baby killer. One of your family will die. Oh, which one? If it's my wife, she might be faking. She does that sometimes. It has been chosen. By who? The Watchers. Who are the Watchers? They're, they're just the, the ones who watch. Where are they? Tell them to me! with a thousand eyes! Why do you want to watch us die? <laughs> the 
that entertain you? <laughs> you sick bastard. <laughs> Tell me, how will we die? Whoa, first try. You guys are good people. That's it. Dysentery. Now, children, why don't you show me the tombstone that you've made for your poor, foolish father? <laughs> Pepperoni and Trace. No, no, Mom. Pepperoni and cheese. See? Like a pizza. Get it? Do we do good? <laughs> Just put the rock down. Your father's dead. He don't care. Grandpa, what is that sour face for? This was supposed to be my coffin. This coffin is for everybody! <laughs> we are doing this trip on a budget. Now, once this funeral is over, we will dump him out and save it for the next death. Children, say a few kind words for your poor, foolish father, please. Pepperoni and cheese? <laughs> yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Goodness said it better myself. Pepperoni and cheese, amen. Which is why I am giving up my bandit ways. I ain't going to steal nothing from that family down there. All I'm gonna do is take that sweet, sweet daughter of theirs. <laughs> hey, daughters are things. Cletus Jones! Why you talk about women is reprehensible. <laughs> now will you please hand me my cloth soaked in ether so I can go down there, knock that girl out, and drag her ass to Mexico to make her my child bride. <laughs> a bride fit for the bandit king. I think it's all right to give a seven-year-old this? Wanna get drunk? <laughs> From a Mike's Hot Lemonade? No, sir. <laughs> no, no, no. No, 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 no. There's only enough alcohol in one of that there these to make it taste worse than regular lemonade. Wow, Dad, you're really in trouble with Mom. Can I tell you something about myself? I hate being in trouble. As a kid, that is my number one fear. You know how many times I've thought about just not coming back to the wagon because I didn't want to get in trouble for something? I lost a shoe two months ago. <laughs> I didn't say anything about it. No one asked me, so I've been walking around with one shoe. If someone were to ask me, where's your shoe? I'd say, I don't know. Because at this point, I honestly don't. I mean, I remember where it was when I threw it off the wagon, but... <laughs> I mean, it bounced for a little bit, and I kind of put my hand out and pointed at it, but no one said anything, so I just put my hand down and forgot about it, man. All I know is that shoe bounced pretty good. Well, goodbye, Dad. I do not love you more than Mom, but I certainly feared you less. In fact, did I ever tell you how I lost my wife? Tuberculosis, Dad. I was there at the funeral. No, no, no. That's what we wanted you to think. We buried an empty casket that day. The truth is, this is hard for me to say. The truth is, I never banished any lobsters to the sea. <laughs> I know that, Dad. <laughs> They banished me to the land. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm talking about Cornwallis, the leader of the lobsters. We were friends once, brothers even. Eleanor was in love with both of us, so to end our famous feud, I let her go with him. He took my wife and my million dollars. He was more of a man than I'll ever be. And he was a lobster. <laughs> Grandpa, you just kind of don't ever know what the hell's going on, do you? Look, what I'm trying to tell you is you can't just let your wife go. You gotta fight for her if you wanna, or you're gonna lose your whole family to a bunch of lobsters. Lobsters will play no significant role in my life. <laughs> well, I'm just saying it could happen. No, it couldn't, Titty Mitty. What? Well, it doesn't have to be lobsters. It could be any kind of crustacean. Crabs, goats. 
It's a similar situation. No, it isn't. Why you gotta pick apart everything I say to you? I don't even know why I'm trying to help you. I hate you. I want a new quality wagon. With wheels that are circles. <laughs> and I don't want any fancy upgrades, like a horny ox or a floor window. Oh, oh I want a sturdy oh, wagon. Oh. And I want it for free. When the world's at stake And there are lives to save And yes, I'm one big fake But please cut me a break Cause I... Nope. You really went for it there. I know that based on what you just saw, you wouldn't believe it, but I played Tony in Independence Community Theater's production of West Side Story a couple years back. <laughs> It's like, it's like big fish, small pond, but I was proud. <laughs> Big dude, before we die, I just want to tell oh, you. you. shut your mouth, Cletus. Uh, everything's going to be just fine. We've gotten out of worse scraps than this. I mean, this can't be the end of the Panda King. Oh, shit, God damn it, God damn it. I thought I'd drown for sure. How did I? <laughs> you. Hello. <laughs> Titty Mitty. <laughs> Gordon Wallace, you saved us. Why? It wasn't for you, Grandpa. It was for Eleanor. How is she these days? She passed two years ago come April. This doesn't change anything. I know, Grandpa. I know. If given the chance to kill any one of us, who would choose one of the children? I guess it's a good thing that I'm the one dying. I'd rather die than get in trouble for losing that shoe. Goodbye, Dad. Looks like your mom's only son now. No, you're your mom's son. I'm the father, remember? Right, the father, the oldest son. <laughs> Go to the light, sir. I don't see a light. I just see a skeleton in a robe going, come here, come here. <laughs> well, you might as well do what he says. Well, I guess it makes sense that I'm the one dying of dysentery. <laughs> I shouldn't have put all that shit in my mouth. <laughs> Especially that shit. <laughs> and you know what that means. Come on, buddy. The water's just right. So come on, buddy. Let's have a water fight. Splashy, splashy. There's nothing more fun than dropping trowel and getting some you can skinny if you're fat or old. Put Marco Polo in a wrestling hole. There's his penis. All your problems wash away when you're naked. Yeah, you're naked in a
everybody told this story You can even do it alone Just you and all your glory Come on, Jack Bauer, the water's just right. Be right there, honey. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots to learn. <laughs> Ox like me! And it didn't make any sense. <laughs> it was when you were filming! Lots to learn.